Hey guys. My kids are home. They're making plenty of noise, so you might hear them in the background. So I had a good day today, no pain. My butt cheeks are still a little sore. Um, but other than that, oh, I hate when that skin gets on my lip. Those are big lip problems, y'all. When that skin get on your lip. I had no lip gloss on. And skin still occurs on my lip. But anyway, <laughs> today, I just been chilling. Um, I didn't do much. Yesterday, I did a lot. So, I let my kids do, do a lot today. Um, I ate for breakfast, like, uh, bacon, turkey, eggs for breakfast. Hey, for lunch, I had a salad. Um, with a little chicken on it, little cheese, onions, a couple of black olives, a little ranch dressing. Um, nothing too big. I think a little couple of pickles. That's it. But, um, oh, I said I was going to quit saying um so much. I'm trying to get better with this. I've been researching trifecta because I'm like still pissed about my money. Because I did not get the services that she offers. And I'm really mad about that. I didn't get anything from her. Like her recovery house, her service description says transportation, seven trips. And she didn't want to give me one. RX pickup. Do you know she told me, well, go ahead and get your meds. You know, she didn't take my prescription. I had to go to like three p different Publix. Um, I stopped at a CVS and then I just finally went to Costco's, which is right over from her recovery house. I went to Costco's and they, without a membership, they let me get the prescription. I didn't have to have a membership to get in. That was a blessing because I was tired. It was my first day there. Um... I called her like 30 minutes before. She told me I can check in at 3. I called her 30 minutes before and asked her, Tamika, the owner, could I just come on in because I'm tired or whatever, such and such. She told me no, you know, but she wasn't there yet. Okay. If you're running a business and you're expecting patients, clients, 30 minutes before, there's no time. You should have already been at work charging that type of money. Remind you guys, I paid eleven fifty for assistance that I didn't get. And I'm going to keep saying that assistance that I did not get. But back to her description, it says basic surgery supplies, trifecta welcome bag, three meals, ultimate snacks slash beverages, 24 hour care, including vital checks, post-op IV hydration, three massages, Tape method, stage two for her. Ask me, anybody in the comments, did I receive anything from her? No. She checked my pressure twice. I think the day I got out of surgery, that was on Thursday. And I think she checked it maybe Saturday. Or probably, yeah, she checked it Saturday night. I think that's when she checked it. Stage two for her, I have to go and buy my own stage two for her because she didn't give me that. A trifecta welcome bag? No, nope. I didn't get that either. Mom. And like, I knew the signs. Like when I first called her, when I was trying to talk to her, y'all, this before I even got to Atlanta. Every time I would talk to her, she would say, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, click, hang up her phone. That was the first sign. And God showed me all the red flags, you know, not to go there. He did. But instead, I was scared, like I said. So I still went to Trifecta because it said it was the closest thing to me, a surgery room. Because I was like, I don't want to be in pain and have to be in the back of a truck like 30, 45 minutes because the other recovery houses, hey, were like far out. So that's one of the reasons why I chose her. But, like, when I talked to her when she was there, she was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, bitch, get out of my face. I don't want to motherfucker talk to you. You know what I'm saying? But I paid you. eleven fifty. You know what I'm saying? And that, like, was really pissing me off with her. But I have did my research on her, and I wrote a big review on her, which is worse than that. But 
I'm going to do my review with the Better Business Bureau um, later tonight. But I did do a review on her. I'm about to whoop my kids, y'all. I did do a review on her page. The YouTubers cannot hear me. The people that's going to watch are not going to be able to hear me. Because they're so loud. But overall, that was the worst experience I've had. And the first experience I had, because this is my first time having a surgery. The life of having kids, y'all. And I got a lot of them. I love you. says she loves me. But do not. Do not. Y'all, please. I don't know. It's a girl. She got up under the post that I commented on, I think um, Lipo 360 Recovery, and they tagged her. Well, she didn't say anything to me when they tagged her because I was telling the truth about her. She's something else. They came in like, they didn't wear uniforms. You know, she came in with her shirt tied up, baby. And I just was looking at them. Like, this how you run your business. Like, when I first you know, came out of surgery. Yes, I promoted her as a black, you know, black excellence. But hell, when she got to treat my ass low down, I said, fuck her. Because she done got my motherfucking money and she goddamn ain't treat me like I'm black. And I'm a goddamn friend that charged me all that goddamn money ain't doing shit that she said she was going to do. So I was really pissed off. When she came in, I think Sunday, she knew I was mad with her. Because I didn't say nothing to her ass. She looked at me. And yes, I cursed in front of my kids. But anyways, she looked at me. She said something. I threw my hand up at her just the way she threw her hand up at me when I first came there. Because when I first came, you know, you knew you was coming out to get a client, a patient. I parked my truck right over, you know, right downstairs in their garage. She came out the double doors. She didn't have no jacket on. She threw her hand up. I was standing at my truck waiting on her. She threw her hand up and told me, come on. Went back in the building. She ain't wait on me. See, nothing. Did I have anything? Nothing. She didn't come over to my truck and greet me and say, hi, my name is Tamika. I'm the owner of Trifecta. Do you have anything that I can help you with or can I help you with your bags? She didn't do that. So I had to grab up all my stuff, which I had other stuff that I want to bring in, but I just left it in my truck. I was pissed off then. So when I got to the chief, like, you need help with your stuff, I looked at her. And I was like, you can just get this. You know, because I had an attitude right then. But I was like, Lord, I'm just going to let it go. And she was on her phone. Da -da 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 -da. All of her planning trips, she's going to Columbia. You know, all that. You know, I heard her. And yeah, she even said stink shit. You know, y'all, I like my goddamn silver shit. I do. For one, it don't cost as much as gold, but it's still real. It's real. Everything that I have on is real. You know, my Pandora is yeah. real. You know, my little bracelet, all of it is, is real. So I hear her and I guess she's talking to her mama. She said her mama, first of all, she said something about my boots. I heard her say, it's the boots for me. Okay, everybody know my feet long. My feet been long all my goddamn life. Okay. Then I heard her tell my mama, you know what I want for my birthday? I want a sterling silver necklace with a cross on it. That's when I knew the bitch was throwing shade. And yes, I call her a bitch because I'm pissed off at her. So, you know, I'm like, mm. I wanted to leave then. But, you know, I had already paid my money. You know, so I just stayed on. But, baby, as the days went on, you know, her or her sister, Malone, I tell you, she was sweet. She was. But she got pissed with me when I told her that I didn't want oatmeal. I went in, and I didn't even say it smart. I went in there and I told her, I said, I don't eat oatmeal. She's like, well, this is what they got on menu. And that's when I said, well, why don't they give us choices? It should be at least two choices. Like, are we going to cook this today? You can either have this or that. You know, you just can't give people shit. She said, well, the only thing that's on your paper, they said that you don't eat pork. Okay, but they still fed me sausage. If y'all go back and look on my page, they gave me a sausage this small. This small. And every morning she would tell me she was going to fix me turkey bacon, but she didn't. She gave me that little sausage this small. So one morning, 
I asked her for more. She told me they didn't have no more. Okay, but back to the oatmeal situation. After I told her I didn't eat oatmeal, she did. She did her thing. She went in there. She fixed me um like an English muffin. Don't do that, Trinity. With eggs, cheese, and she gave me like strawberries and grapes. She did her best to be nice, but she was mad with me when I said I didn't want the oatmeal. And after that, she she you know she went left with me. She she washed my clothes. She told me. That she put them on my bed. You all to stop it. And she did. And I was right there on my knees like I'm on my knees now. I never saw her put the clothes on the bed. I got up. My clothes, my faha, my pajamas, they were on the floor. And I think a nightgown that she had washed. I was so fucking pissed. I wanted to get up and beat her up. But I was too fucking sore to even go in there and argue with her. Then she came back through. Kick my feet. If I felt it, you felt it. So I looked at my surgery sister. She looked at me. I was like, she didn't say excuse me. And that, that's what, that was the end. I was calling everybody in the world to come and get me. Initially, my baby sister was supposed to come get me. She couldn't come because she wasn't off of work. Then I got on the phone and called my mother-in-law. She said she was going to come. But then she said she was going to have anxiety on that long ride. So I said, fuck that. Let me tell you who gonna ride for me if I don't talk to her in three months. Shaquana Casby. I don't give a damn if I ain't talked to her in a year. If I call her for anything. Anything. Because both of us crazy as fuck. She is coming. She gonna come, y'all. Shaquana Casby is the best cousin you could ever have. She's gonna come. But I got the hell out of there. And I said when I got home, I was gonna write the biggest review on her ass ever. So, my surgery sister, she felt the same way. You know, we closed the door, we talked. You know, she got a long list of things that she had about them. So, it's not, it just wasn't only me that was complaining about that service. I was pissed. First of all, I'm not finna sit in a room all day. Of course, I had surgery and need to lay down. No doubt. But what if I want to come out and come up front? There's no space to do that. You know, she had nothing in the front room for you to come kneel on or, you know, if you want to watch TV, what if I wanted to watch TV in the front room? No, you, you, you had, so sometimes like one of those days, I'm like, I'm going to stand right here and eat my food. You know, nothing was said. It was like, well, bitch, stand up then. Okay. I did. But she had two bathrooms. It's two people there. No one else, just me and the other lady. I could not like the other bathroom was off limits. I mean, you only have two patients here. Why don't you say, well, she's in here using that one. If you want to go ahead and, you know, use that one, I could come over there and help you. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't get that. They pissed me off. I told them I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. You know, sometimes I, I just, something just came across me. I just didn't want to deal with them because they had attitudes. I just didn't want to deal with it. But that was like the worst experience ever. Like one time, like when my surgery sister came out of surgery, she was like leaking really bad. Her drainage was bad. So she went in the bathroom. You know, they put little things down for you to step on. So when you change out your faha and you're leaking, it just falls on the floor because the drainage is real. You know, bloody stuff was down there. It was only one person there. First of all, she should have more than one person there to see about people that have come out of surgery. I had to wait. You think like she went in there and rushed and cleaned up so I could get my shower and change my bandages out and stuff? No, she took her time. I had to pee really bad, so I had to go in there and step all over somebody else's bloody mess. Pissed. You know, so walking, I had to walk after surgery. I had to walk like I filmed all this. Y'all seen it. I already, I had to walk after surgery because they wouldn't give me no ride. So... Just do not. Do not. I don't know. Somebody else got on the post and said they treated her very well. Well, guess what I told them? I guess they treat people differently. Because they shown up treating me differently. I didn't get all that extra stuff and extra care. No massages. No, you know, no bag. No nothing. She need to go back and change her description of the service that she's giving. Because I didn't get the service that's described in her description. But overall, you guys, my pain level is zero. And I can see about my kids. I can cook. You see, I can talk a thousand miles per hour. <laughs> Mom, 
<laughs> it's nothing wrong with my teeth. I don't know why I cover my mouth when I smile. But I have been working on my teeth, y'all. I want them to look better. And this is expensive. But I already spent a few bands on just one side of my mouth. And it's still not done. But anyways, I just want to come back and just let y'all know how I've been doing. And let y'all know about Trifecta. And just let y'all know she probably be like pissed with me. But I don't care. She need to do better. When you get that amount of money, and guess what Mia Aesthetics told me? As soon as I selected them, they sent her her check. They don't wait till you stay and send her her check at the end. She get paid first. So she don't give a damn. She already paid with her mm-hmm ass. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know I was going to mm-hmm your ass and get on YouTube and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That pissed me off. You don't talk nobody like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every time somebody say something to you, they let people know that you don't want to be bothered with them. That you don't want to talk, but you want their money. Like when the surgery suits are almost fainting in them. Ask me, did she come running? Hell, I jumped up out of my bed. I'm goddamn two days post-op trying to help somebody. This ain't my damn job. Come there telling that lady, this happened all the time. You gonna be all right? The lady was scared for her damn life. Because she was fainting. She's talking about people faint all the time, which I have read up on it, that people faint. Thank God that I did not have the episode. The only episode I had was being dizzy. Like, when you do take your faha off, they tell you. When you take your faha off, if you're feeling faint, lay down five to ten minutes un you, until you feel better because you've been compressed. So, once you take your faha off, that least releases the compression. But no. She didn't. She came in there all calm. You know, she was, mm-hmm. That's what I hated about her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, she don't want to talk. But you wanted somebody money. But I'm just putting it out there to let y'all know. I don't know if you guys been there and she did better with y'all. But like I said, her assistant, Francesca, she was so sweet. Francesca and Milan, that's who need to run the business. You know, when she fixed our food, Tamika, the owner, she just stole it all together. She put it together. Food was touching food. It is one place she fixed with them shrimp on there. She fixed some pasta stuff with like six shrimp on there and broccoli. And she kept fixing us broccoli. I read up on broccoli. Broccoli causes infl inflammation. But she fixed it like two or three times. I didn't even post it on Facebook. Because my people back home were going to be talking about me. You know, they're going to be like, she paid all that money. They feed her that fucked up ass food. So she just threw our food on a plate. When Milan fixes the food, very neat. Very neat. She fixes it very neat and professional. You know, I really liked the Milan until she threw my clothes on the damn floor and kicked my foot. But she's sweet. She the one that needs to take over the business. Because Tamika, no. Unless she get money. You know, like when black folks get money, this is no lie. They switch up. They change. They don't give a fuck because they get money. They don't know how to come keep. They don't know how to keep their composure with money. They don't give a damn because they feel like they pay. A bitch ain't fucking with them. You know, that's, that's how black people are. It's true. But her assistants, they should get together and run their own business. They don't need her. They don't even need to work for her. Whatever she did to acquire her business, to get her business, to put it together, they need to suck up every piece of energy from her except their bad energy. And run it. Because they, they, they are good. I promise you. But the owner know. And I just want to let y'all know. About her. And what I went through there. I hated it there. And that's why I left a day early. So now I'm trying to work with Mia. If Mia can't do anything. Next step. Better Business Bureau. And I, and I know they're going to do something about. I want all of my money back. I don't want a, a portion of it. I don't want half of it. I want every dime of my 100, I mean $1,150 back. That's what I want. And I'll be happy. But until then, I'm going to keep writing reviews on her. I sure am. And she know I'm not lying. And when they go back and watch this YouTube, because I know they are going to find out 
<clears throat> they know that it's Javon. And I also let them know that life with Javon, you know, I let them know my YouTube channel. I hope they go watch. I want them to go watch so she can know what I'm telling the world about her. Maybe she will change and do better and stop telling everybody, mm-hmm, and on her phone all day. I mean, all day. And then when I told Milan that Tamika was on her, I said, Tamika be on her phone all day. She don't give a damn. Guess what Milan told me? Well, what you want us to do? Okay. I said in my head, baby, I call her all kind of bitches in my mind that day. Yep. Milan? Showed it. <laughs> but I did. Yes, I did. But I'm about to end on um, my video because I've been talking like 20 minutes now. And um, I probably eat the same thing for dinner that I ate for lunch because I didn't want to eat that heavy food because my leg swole, was swollen yesterday. Not a lot, just a little bit on my ankle. And normally, before I went on my diet for surgery, if I eat salt, this what happens so i'm just gonna eat a little salad call it a day because i don't want to pay all this money and then be back out of shape you know because <laughs> i never had like any butts i never had hips yeah. and i never had a flat stomach not flat flat like when i was 16 i only had like a little push then i started having babies so i developed a fupa so this process is gonna be a little long for me because i didn't get a tummy so but Dr. Gray did his thing with me. He did. And he did tell me to, you know, wear my abdominal board for three weeks. Three weeks. And I can take it out. But I already see the changes in my stomach. And my bruising is healing up. So, hopefully, I don't have to go back and get a tummy tuck. After the three weeks, I will be able to wear a waist trainer to complete my look with a stage two Baja. So this is a process, a process. Yeah, I'm about to end this for real this time. Tell the vlog patrons. Hey guys, and I got ten six, and I got five more days until my birthday. <laughs> she looked just like her daddy, y'all. This is Trick Elmore's child. Yes, Lord. Bye bye, y'all. We about bye to go. Bye bye, y'all.